Hi guys, welcome to Wicked Movie Channel, and this is the first part of the best action movies released in 2022. Each film for this selection is worth of watching and will appeal to fans of the genre. Write in the comments what other interesting movies were released this year. Perhaps some of them will be included in the next selection of action movies. So, let's not waste any time and begin! Memory Alex is a contract killer with progressive Alzheimer's. He wants to retire, but takes on the last job in El Paso. He is assigned to kill two people and first target is eliminated, but the second victim should be an underage girl. Since killing children violates the killer's code of honor, Alex terminates the contract and becomes a target for the Mafia himself. Moreover, FBI agent Vincent and his team, who are investigating the case of kidnapping, are on the trail of the Alex. He is on the run, but continues to act, waiting to punish his customers. At first glance, a typical action movie with Liam Neeson differs at least in the idea that the aged Avenger suffers from Alzheimer's and is genuinely not a passive character. The rest of the movie is not very impressive, but gives a stable average for engaged viewers. And when compared with the films of actor in the recent years, this is one of the most successful ones. 10th place. Memory. Black Crab A squad of soldiers surviving a post-apocalyptic world of eternal war and endless winter receives a secret mission. The group is faced with a dangerous task to deliver an important cargo along the frozen sea coast, the contents of which can be put an end to an armed conflict. But the main characters do not suspect what their task really is. A film adaptation of the novel of the same name and a Swedish look to the usual post-apocalyptic and dystopian genres. It turned out to be a movie that is no way interior to Hollywood, which doesn't lose its dynamic and tension until the very end. This is an interesting action and good plot, and Numi Rappas also plays great, almost single-handedly draws out the entire movie. Fans of post-apocalypse stories about difficult choices and realistic war dramas will definitely like it. Ninth place. Black Crab. Last scene alive. Upset Will is taking his beloved wife Lisa to her parents. The woman said she wants to take a break in their relationship and leave with her mother. Almost when they get there, they stop at a gas station. Lisa goes to buy water and Will stays at the pump. Time goes by, but Lisa's still gone. Worried husband checks all the bathrooms, rushes among truckers, finally calls the police. Surveillance cameras unfortunately are broken, and the policeman, instead of deceive action, begins to delve into their personal life of a couple going through difficult times, and then Will takes matters in his own hands. Old school brutal action movie and thriller with detective elements. Simple, concrete and straightforward. It's not a masterpiece, but for those who like to tickle their nerves, it's definitely worth watching. 8th place. Last scene alive. Ambulance. War veteran Will is an exemplary family man, but he urgently needs money for a surgery for his wife, and the state usually doesn't care about the former military. Will is an excellent driver, and he has to ask Danny's stepbrother, who has followed in his father's criminal footsteps, and is now busy preparing for the next bank robbery. With a team of raiders, Will goes on a robbery, but everything doesn't go according to plan and the brothers are forced to escape from a police chase in an ambulance. Moreover, with a shot cop and a paramedic named Cam taken hostage. The new film by Michael Bay, which was released in the best traditions of the director himself. Crazy spits, explosions, a lot of adrenaline scents and a lot of action throughout the movie. A simple thriller that resembles an attraction and will go well for one evening. 7th place. Ambulance. The Contractor James Reed is fired from the US Army without looking at his military decorations of the, or the president's own handshake. The medicines in his blood, which he takes for pain in his injured knee, are to blame. Left without a livelihood, with the lean behind his back, he agrees to his friend's offer and gets a job in an underground CIA structure, entirely consisting of the same soldiers abandoned by the army. And on the very first mission, everything goes wrong. And for some reason, James is trying to eliminate his own people. The film begins as a drama about a soldier who, after completing his service, can truly find his place in the world. 
But then the genre shifts to thriller and action, when the protagonist turns to what he does best, which is combat missions. There are not many action scenes here, so if you want to watch something with furious action, then this movie will disappoint you. But if you're in the mood of action movie that turns into a thriller, drama and back, then this one is for you. Sixth place. The Contractor. The Roundup. Police officer Ma Sok receives an important task. He needs to go to Vietnam and bring back the criminal who turned to a Korean embassy. But this is only the beginning of the investigation. During interrogation, it turns out that he is connected with the disappearance of local tourists. The new threat is Kan Hong Sun. His goal is to banal, to get half of money, and the methods are bloodthirsty, to kill and intimidate people. The police will have to work together in two countries at once, because this is the only way to stop the series of deaths. A dynamic action movie reminiscent of films from 90s and early 2000s, which once again proves that in order to succeed in the genre, you need to have a police officer who combines comedy and brutality, a spectacular film that will be appreciated not only by fans of Asian cinema. Fifth place, The Roundup. The unbearable weight of massive talent. Nicolas Cage plays an imaginary version of himself. The actor is going through another career crisis. He has big debts, there are no new roles, there are continuous problems in his family. Cage decides to end his career, but before that, in order to pay off his debts, he agrees to speak at the birthday party of a certain rich man. The customer turns out to be not only an extremely wealthy person, but also a rabid fan of Nick and as well as an aspiring screenwriter. In parallel, Cage is taken to a circulation by the special services, confident that the customer is a dangerous criminal who has kidnapped the daughter of a high-ranked politician. This is a comedy action movie about real male friendship and funny adventures of the main meme actor of our time, another successful experiment by Nicolas Cage. And the most funny thing is that the real Cage has enough self-irony to release mocking his creative heritage and pop culture image. Fourth place. The unbearable weight of massive talent. The Greyman. The CIA has a special department with agents who are recruited from among the prisoners. They are used for the most dangerous missions, and if no matter what happened, there will be no questions to the government. One of these agents becomes the Six. He works successfully until he is assigned to kill a fellow mercenary with the call sign 4. Before dying, the target hands over a flash drive with some compromising material and turns Six into the main target. The real psychopath Lloyd is on his trail, who is ready to make sacrifices in order to achieve a result. This action movie doesn't bring anything new to the genre. Here you can rather trace some borrowing from old films like Commando, but the action movie is made quite qualitatively and brightly. There is great action and variety of tricks of huge scale. The movie doesn't try to be more serious than it is, and it doesn't require much analysis. It offers to relax, turn off your head, and have a good time watching Netflix's most expensive blockbuster to date. The film budget was $200 million. Third place, The Gray Man. Prey 1719 A spaceship appears in the habitats of Comanche Indian tribe. The alien object flies away almost immediately, but leaves the predator on Earth. The alien is on this planet for the first time. His goal is to hunt the local life forms. Starting with snakes, wolves and bears, the predator moves on to humans. To stop the elusive killer and save the tribe, the hunter girl Naru has to use not only strength and dexterity, but also a cunning and ingenuity. Fantastic action movie, which is a prequel to the first part of the famous franchise. The result is an atmospheric and spectacular movie, with brutal and thoughtful actions that honestly uses its heritage, but builds on its basics a completely new story that can now develop in any direction. The movie has its own downside, but overall it's a worthy prequel that has a lot more positives and shows on franchise should be restarted. Second place, Prey. Bullet Train A battered killer boards on high-speed train flying from Tokyo to Kyoto with a suspiciously simple task to steal a suitcase and get off at the first stop. It soon turns out that the suitcase belongs to a pair of English killers who are being taken to a famous crime boss, nicknamed the White Death. In addition, there are several more killers on the train with their own targets. Thus, a simple task becomes deadly. 
an action comedy that resembles the films of a Tarantino and Guy Ritchie in terms of atmosphere and similar in structure to Smoke in Aces. However, unfortunately, it falls short of everything that it equals in terms and either plot or wit. Still, it's a good movie that has its upside and hits. Vivid character portrayals, funny jokes, interesting dialogue and inventive action. The blockbuster will not become a classic for the ages, but you definitely will not regret watching it. First place, Bullet Train. Well, this is it. Thanks for watching. Share your movie impressions in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and put the big thumbs up. See you. Bye.